Hello, and welcome to episode number seven of Moms with Yarn. I'm Sharon, also known as Sharon V on Ravelry, and I'm also a Bronx Knitter from the Bronx Knitter blogspot.com. And I'm Tracy TB McCarthy and TB McCarthy 5 on Instagram. Uh, welcome. welcome. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, new viewers. Yes, welcome, welcome returning viewers. When I was doing my show notes last night, I said to you, Sharon, like, I cannot believe we're on episode seven. That's just crazy. Seven episodes. Seven. I think the thing that saves us and makes it still new and exciting is that it's every two weeks instead of every yeah. week. If it was yeah. every week, we'd probably be killing each other. I know. I'd be like, oh, my God. Show notes again. I'm too tired. Can you just do show notes? <laughs> I have to go to three places to write this down. <laughs> but it's not, it's every couple of weeks, so it's yeah. like perfect. Gives yeah. you a chance to get things done, to yeah. get things started. Yeah. So it's perfect. Agreed. Yeah. But well, we so, have a little bit of, um, Tracy's having a little bit of issues today. Yeah. Oh, oh you mean my technical issues mm -hmm. or my other issues Your that we don't talk about? issues. Okay, yeah, because we don't talk about my other issues, because we <laughs> want people to come back. Yes. Yeah, I'm having technical issues. Um, this, the computer that I normally use for podcasting is not my computer, it's my husband's computer. And um, for some reason, the microphone, the plug for the earphones isn't working. And he's trying to put my oldest to bed, and um, he came down quickly to try and plug it in, and then we were going back and forth, and I'm like, forget it, just let me do it. And he was like, why are you yelling at me? I'm trying to help you. And I'm like, forget it, forget it, forget it. So then I just, I'm using my laptop, and I don't know, I keep freezing, and I'm just taking a deep breath. Poor Mr. TB McCarthy was <laughs> collateral damage. <laughs> and my poor son is patiently waiting for his book to be read. Oh. So well, I just said, forget it, forget it, just go upstairs. All right. Well, here we are. In spite of technical difficulties, <laughs> and Tracy's just going to marshal through. Yep. All, All right. right. So we uh, have a little bit of administrati today. Yep. Yep. We reached the 100 member um, milestone on Ravelry. So we opened the thread, and woohoo! Woohoo! So we got nine people. Nine people entered the giveaway. So um, we're going to. Um, we're going to draw, but first we want to also announce the number of people that have subscribed to YouTube because that went up a little bit as well since the last time we podcasted. So Sharon's going to give you those numbers. Last time we were at 77, I believe, and now we're up to 111. Yeah, yeah, 111. Yay! And if you so have subscribed to our channel on YouTube, you could have left a message on the Ravelry forum and you'd be eligible for the prize that's about to be drawn yeah. today. Yep. Right? Yep. Yes, you could have. And you pro you might have. I mean, you could have found us through YouTube and joined the Ravelry group and been one of those nine people that um, might be eligible for the prize. So we're going to draw it now. Um, so like I said, I was the first person in the thread to um, comment. So we're going to draw two through ten. Um, so here it is on the, and I'm just going to hit the generate button. And the result is lucky number, can you see that? Three. Three, that is so quick. And my computer just froze. Like me, did you see at me freeze just like three seconds ago? Oh my gosh, this is like crazy. The person number three is like, it's me, it's me. Uh, it's me, it's me. me. Oh, Why please. can't you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. And I'm getting there as fast as I can because now that Tracy's having technical difficulties, I don't think she should be going through them all by herself. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon, for being that. <laughs> I could probably figure it out, too. Okay, here we are, 100, mem er, 100 members. And Raveler number three is... No, the prize in that thread, the number three, the third person. Yes, the third person. Right? 
the third person on the list is Pattern Whisperer. Nice. It's so... She, she says, is second more lucky than first, meaning she didn't want to be the, <laughs> the first one to... Well, I think the, the second the, person said, okay, I'll be the first one to comment. Exactly. And so you know, Pattern Whisperer... She was like, second person never wins. And then Pattern Whisperer came back and said, is number three ever more lucky than number two? But when you only have nine people... The chances are pretty good of winning. So. Yay! So Jerry just won a pattern. Yes, up to seven bucks. So up to hopefully seven she bucks. Has, oh, yeah, hopefully. Something on Ravelry that we can just yep. gift. Just Tracy gift will gift you. Yep. So contact me, T B McCarthy, and I'll be happy to pick I'll be happy to gift to you a pattern that you pick. So yep. Yay. Yay. All right, so now we're gonna also announce our next thing that we're going to do. We, the last episode we said we were going to, we were toying around the idea of doing a knit along. We decided we're going to do a sock knit along. So um, this is going to be our first knit along, which is really exciting. We decided to just do any sock, any adult pair of sock. Um, we're going to keep it off, I think we said July 10th. Um, we're going to run it through August 12th, which is going to probably be the next time, um, like a Tuesday that we podcast. So um, it's going to run July 10th through August 12th. Um, and basically just you need to start the sock by the, on the 10th and you need to finish it by the 12th. Um, each pair need of be, socks. You need to be yeah, a, need to member be a member of the group. group. Yep, yeah, member of the group. You need to, for every pair of socks that you knit, gets one, you one entry. Um, we're going to open up the thread on Thursday, and for each pair that you finish, you post a picture, finished picture, and that's another entry in the new one. And um, we have an awesome, awesome prize for this um, giveaway. So I, I contacted Joe D. of Fish Knits Yarns, um, and she has generously donated the beautiful, beautiful skein. Um, and Sharon's going to show it to you. I'm not, I'm not even going to explain it. Sharon's going to show you the, the yarn first because she actually has the yarn that's coming. This is the Fuji Fight Like a Girl, I think it's called. Yeah, Fight Like a Girl yarn. Um, and it's awesome. It's self-striping. It's got such a great um, story behind it. Basically, Joji created this colorway um, for Fuji, this is Fuji is Dawn, the Knit and Wolf's ch little Chihuahua who previously was fighting lymphoma. She's now in remission. Yay! Um, so some of the proceeds of the sales of this yarn is going to Fuji's um, continued medical care. The cost of, um, I guess, gas to get Fuji to her. Um, to her doctor's appointments and things like that. So um, just such a, a wonderful, wonderful thing Jody's doing. So um, the fact that we are able to, um, you know, have Jody support the podcast, be the very first supporter of our podcast is just awesome. Um, and I actually purchased some yarn from her. Um, you know, aside from that, I just, I think she's an awesome person. So I can't wait to get my own yarn and show you what I'm knitting up and, um, you know, I know Sharon, that's actually Sharon's skein, so um, so I know she's going to knit that up and, and talk a little bit about, um, you know, what she thinks of the yarn, too. So we're just super, super excited. So, um, you know, that's it. So we'll open up the thread. We hope you all join us. We hope to see all of your finished products. We can't wait to see what patterns you pick. Um, in my whips and my upcoming, I'm going to um, talk a little bit about some of my thoughts on what I want to knit up for socks. So, yay! Yay! Well, I've also opened up a thread for anybody who's spinning for the Tour de Fleece. We don't have a team. We don't have anything. So, if you're spinning anything anywhere and you just want to visit the room and post whatever it is you're spinning or what you've spun, then go in the room in the Tour de Fleece thread Post the pictures of your spinning or your wannabe spinning or the stuff you want somebody to spin for you. Whatever it is, chitty chat, whatever. Yeah. 
because there's going to be a prize for that as well. Okay, great. Yeah. And it is this. <gasps> wow. That's really pretty. Yep. Wow. Who's I that from? I got this from the Painted Tiger, I think. That's really pretty. I'm sorry. Sunset Fibers. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. And it is 100% of BFL, 4 ounces. Oh, nice. That's really nice. So that's what's up for grabs. but and, and you don't have to really have spinning. You can just chitty chat because every comment in the room except mine and Tracy's will count as a as an entry. That's not fair. I know. It seems like if you spin. But some people don't spin and some people aren't fast and some people won't finish. And yeah. I don't think anybody who makes an attempt should be excluded. So yeah agreed that's really nice Woohoo! Woo and that's the end of the administrati so we're going to get okay. right to the knitting great okay what, so what should i start first yes. finish objects so number two baby Woohoo! hey where's the buttons i didn't <laughs> Remember, I don't do buttons. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's so funny because I gave the uh, the tiny tea leaves to my mom to knit the buttons on. I got these awesome buttons from um, Timber Creek or Timber. I'll I'll link it in the show notes. This really cute Etsy shop um, that does um, wooden buttons. They were really cute. They were like the, in the shape of an of oak leaf. So cute. I gave them to my mom. I even gave her the extra yarn so she could use it to knit. <laughs> She's like, the buttons don't fit through the hole. <laughs> I'm like, you can see I don't sew buttons on very often. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, oops. 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 Um, so anyway, so yeah, I just need buttons, but the ends are woven in. I just need the buttons and then to block it and it's done. So this is for the baby. This is size six. This actually fits her, her not well yet. I mean, she's really tiny. The baby is just mm -hmm. like, she's four, but she fits into her 3T stuff. I mean, she's very, she's very small. Peanut. So this will, she's a peanut. She does not take after me. She, um, <laughs> she will fit into this maybe next year with the sleeves rolled up and then probably the following year and the year after that. And then we'll be wearing her sisters for years to come. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy. Like, it really came out great. So. That's so nice. <sighs> the podcast made you finish. <laughs> I did. Okay, I'm done. It was so nice meeting you all. I hope you have a wonderful life. Love you. <laughs> Toodles. Toodles. Yay. I'm just kidding. So that was my first FO. Mm -hmm. And then you saw this little bad boy the last time, right? Yes. Well, this little bad boy has a brother now. <laughs> Yay! That first, did you just whip right through the second one? I didn't actually, but it's funny because this has been off, the, the second one has been off the needles for about, I'd say a week now. I, I, I finished it maybe like five nights after I finished the first one. And so it's been off the needles for about five or six nights now. And I don't hate it as much as I did while I was knitting it. And I'm actually thinking <laughs> I might want to knit another one. You see? I know. It's like donuts. I know. But you know what? It's funny. So I, did I, oh, did, I think I was telling you that I was, I don't know if I told you where I, I said on the, on the, on the boards that I, so I knit the first one and then I was just, who needs a pattern? I'm an expert. <laughs> who needs to put that pattern away? Uh, we can write we don't need no stinking patterns. Pattern. <laughs> so, so I knit like this much 
and I'm looking at this one. I'm like, it's a thatch. What? How could I make a mistake? What? I know. I know this pattern. And then I realized this much was supposed to be ribbing, and then you start the Skype. <laughs> so then, in typical crazy fashion, I'm like, Mom's not gonna eat. She's not even gonna notice. She's just gonna pull it on and love it to death. And so I knit like two more rows, and then I'm like. Rip, 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 rip. I ripped the whole thing out. I know. You know I try she and might talk myself to, into it. <laughs> she might have been able to live with it, but you weren't able to live with it. They're not even for you. They're not even for me. Because <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist. That's the thing, you know? And I try and talk myself into not being a perfectionist, but, oh, man, I was so close, so close. But I don't. I mean, and I love the color. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yes. And what yarn is it. that? This is the um, Socks That Rock, Blue Moon Fiber Edge Socks That Rock, and the Twinkle Twinkle Little Vampire. I don't know why they named it that. It, it totally doesn't even resemble, like, blood and gore and anything vampire -y. Hmm. I don't know what I would name it, but it's just so pretty. Anyway, yeah. it's really nice. I'm so happy. So these will be gifted to Mom. And your cardigan, doing my your cardigan was made out of which yarn? Um, the Madeline Tosh Vintage DK, I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the Wisteria, which was discontinued. And I have about maybe 30 yards left of like six skeins. So I'm done. You're really done. Done. I don't ever want to see Wisteria again. That was <laughs> stressful. It's really stressful. Well, where's your sun sweater? What do you got finished, Sharon? Well, <laughs> I hope you don't mind things in triplicate because... Oh my gosh, the ugly duckling? I mean, yeah, yes, seriously. Seriously. You're making me look bad. Okay, so I did these. Yes. Been there, done that. We've seen those. Okay. Don't try and pass off a finished object that you passed off. That's because I didn't stuff. know if I showed it here or if oh, I no, showed, it showed it on Instagram. It do you want me to dig up finished objects from no. last week? I can totally do it. <laughs> so I it's love those. Like, so I wanted to do them again. And again and again. I said you're going to be the vanilla sock. My heart vanilla socks. All of these were done with um, US2 um, needles. Are you usually twos? I'm usually one and a half. Okay. I'm usually one. So these are done with um, the slip stitch. Okay. So I decided to do them because I wanted to use up this yarn. Oh, that's pretty. I like the color. This, the whole bag was full. But I, it's, it's old, this yarn, very old. I asked Moses to pick it up <laughs> on his way out of the desert. And I used that with um, Croy Stretch Sock. Which is probably equally old. <laughs> well, it's not as old as this, but yeah, it's pretty old. And because they're low contrast, this color alone as socks didn't work. Okay. Just the color was wrong. So it yeah. needed some kind of interest or something. So mixing it with this, which is the, um, the colorway is called kelp. Yeah. So mixing the two together and using um, the stranded technique instead of, instead of slip stitching gave me these. <gasps> That's so pretty. So what it did was it just made that aqua color a little bit more interesting. Yeah. And the other difference is because I used stranding, I had to stripe the bottom mm -hmm. this way instead of this way. Okay. So, all of them have the fish lips kiss heel. So, this was with gnome spun and cascade sock. Yeah, gnome spun, hand spun. And this one is... 
the ancient yeah. colorway that I made my uncle's sock with. Yeah. And Croy's stretch socks in sand. Mm -hmm. And this you saw is in the kelp and. Yeah, that's really pretty. So you're done with the ugly duckling? I'm finished. I'm done. <clears throat> I'm not going to say that I won't make them again because they're like so easy. It's ridiculous. And you get this. I feel kind of like Diane and her stitch surfers. Yeah. It was so fast. And once you get the pattern memorized. Yeah. It, really. There's no nice. no point in making anything else. Even a plain vanilla sock was boring yeah. to me. So yeah, those are so I have a little bit of yarn left over. Really, not much. I have to decide what I'm going to do with this stuff because this is not um, this sock yarn is not my style. In fact, I bought it because it was two dollars ninety nine. Yeah, I won't be doing that anymore because it's even though I used it, so it didn't go to waste. Yeah, it's not. If you didn't love it, yeah. It had to be mixed with other stuff because it's loud, it's crazy, it's... Yeah. Whatever. So, anyhow, those are my FOs. Nice. But, I have whips. Why don't you go first? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you know that the Tour de Fleece is on. It's on. It's on like popcorn. Oh, I was hoping that you weren't going to fall out of your chair. No, I got off the chair this time because I'm not crazy. Lightning's not going to strike me twice. Oh, don't say it, Sharon. I know, right? Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, so spinning for the tour de fleece. And my goal was to spin this one pound bag of fiber. And I keep spinning and spinning and spinning, and I got one bobbin, I got two bobbin. It's like snow in Alaska. <laughs> You'd spin for hours and hours. The third bobbin is almost filled up because I'm going to make it a three-ply. And the bag is still full. It feels like it still weighs a pound. And, yeah. Um, Trying to not do, to get bored, but you need to figure out like one of those dicky do things. You know how people. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with its fiber? It's like okay, I'm going to mark like this a part with twist crayon. Pie? <laughs> <laughs> do I just put a line on the plastic bag to try to figure out if it's going down? No. The good news is that um, when you spin monochrome fiber that has all one color or no color at all in this case. It allows you to concentrate on watching the game because I yeah. actually watch the race. Yeah. So to me, that's the only thing that's keeping me from swallowing bleach. <laughs> what can I say? You want to shoot yourself. It's like this thing is never ending. But... Um, it's going to be a baby blanket for my cousin oh, who just had a baby. And I'm going to make the um, baby hat blanket by Brooklyn Tweed. Okay. Oh, nice. Done. Yeah, so yay for that. <laughs> As and once you get through it, yeah. Yeah, you just have to get through it. Yeah. So um, the other whip I'm working on, which I am practically nowhere, I'm just on to the cast on is the um, Sheila D and Wenny, Penny Wenny Penny Wenny of Knit One Heart 2 yep. are having a charity knit along for a woman named Lise at Webs okay. she Lee's at Webbs has a group of women who normally make comfort shawls for ladies in nursing homes and in hospitals and okay. new moms and stuff. And so um, some of the ladies that were knitting for her are unavailable to knit now for whatever reason. And so her, she's asking, Lee's is asking for shawls 
for people okay. to knit shawls. However, she's also accepting shawls that you have and don't wear hmm. and that you want to donate. Okay. So you're, you can make yourself eligible for a prize by posting a shawl in the Knit One Heart Two podcast Ravelry forum and then sending your um, shawl sure. directly to mm -hmm. Lee's at Webs. Okay. So I'll put all the links in the show notes. But, you know, I listen to so many podcasts, and when I heard that they were doing that, I'm like, I'm sure I have two or three shawls around yeah. here that I don't want. Yeah. And that, you know, I've managed to hide from my mother for at yeah. least a year. Yeah. So it seems fair that they should go someplace. But in the meantime, yeah. I would like to knit this one. You know, something new. That's really pretty. And it's quick until you get to the part where it says cast on 358 stitches. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making it with alpaca, alpaca sock yarn. Oh, that's Let crazy. me tell you what color it is. Small. You're going to rush out and buy it. It is color number 1852. <laughs> Go get you some. <laughs> So AKA I, yeah, mauve. It's yeah, it's kind of mauvey. So I put it on this needle because I tried putting it on circulars, and the casting on part was just driving oh. me crazy. I couldn't count the stitches. Everything went wrong. So that is so old school. I know. Oh my god! And it's so, so old. I'm nowhere with it, but that's okay. Whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. So that that and the spinning are my only whips. Only? That's pretty good. Yeah. You want to know about my whip? Yep. All right. I'm going to give you the bad news first. Well, it's not really bad news. But I cast on another sock. It is the... I'm just trying to get a good picture. Georgia on my mind sock. I did those. You did? Yeah. They're, they're really easy cute. peasy. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, you know, they just, they're very, I like, okay, so I'm going to show you what I did. So this is in the Diabolical Super Ego, which apparently is a um, a sport weight. It mm. doesn't look like a sport weight. I don't know if you could see that again. Yeah, before. it does. <laughs> does it look like a sport weight? Uh -huh. I don't feel like it's a sport weight. I'm doing it on size ones. Maybe that's the problem. Um, the nice color is very vibrant. Yeah, it's very vibrant. It doesn't feel like it should be a sport weight. It doesn't feel dense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's the fabrics <clears throat> like awful. Mm -hmm. um, it just, to me, it doesn't look, I think because I've done so many socks that rock, that I'm looking for that squishy, like, fabric and that squishy feel. It looks so wide to me. And I just, like, I, I don't know. And part of me is like, why do you care? Because, like, you're, ne you're never keeping these socks anyway. So what do you care? Who are like, they for? They'll either be for my mom or my sitter. So as long as they fit them, who cares? Like, what ca why do I care what they look like not on the leg? Mm -hmm. But, so I'm on the heel flap of the first sock. Okay. So Have you tried the Fish Lips Kiss heel? I haven't. <laughs> You're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> honey, you need to try that Fish Lips heel. You, you do. do. Honey, you do. I know you. I know that's what you're saying. You're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. But mm -hmm. <laughs> bless her heart, she needs to try that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, honey bunny. You yes, know I, I would never try to really pressure you into doing anything. I know you wouldn't, but you give me that. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll I'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I'm doing. I'm gonna do the one sock and then see how I feel about it. And decide if I'm going to do the second sock or just rip it out. 
you don't really need to rip it out. Let me tell you, I use um, the Duet yarns, the midi, Duet midi, which is sport weight, mm -hmm. on size two needles. And they are a little bit dense, but it wasn't crazy. Yeah, I don't feel like this is really dense. And the knitting was so fast, it was ridiculous yeah. because the soft yarn or because the DK yarn is thicker it gives you a bigger row count yeah so you don't have to do say 30 rows from cuff to heel yeah it's, you can it's, do 25 rows like I say that it's sport but I feel like it's knitting up like a like a fingering like a heavy fingering it's mm -hmm. not it's really not what made you decide bad. to use that yarn um do you want honest or mm -hmm. do you want I want honest. Okay. So honest is that I have like an old like I don't know if you could see here. Well, it's actually here. So do you see that door right here? Mhm. Mm I have so this this room is actually part of the old. So we bought an, a 1950 house. So this was part of the 1950 house. So this closet is just a regular reach in with like a bar. So it's just like a regular small reach in shelf. So this closet and then there's a room behind me, it's identical, very small room, that has a closet just like this. Reach in, not deep. We converted these two closets to just have shelves. So it probably has like five shelves. This closet in the other room is where I keep my stash. And the bin that keeps my stash for, like, the bin that held this yarn and all of my other stash that was in this yarn was just overflowing so I couldn't fit anything else in that bin so something in that bin had to come out if something else was going to move into there so I just went okay you pick it's you you're it your turn you're it you <laughs> I like you today and his name was Sid Ficious I was like okay you're it <laughs> and I have a couple of bins that are kind of like that I'm like you're getting too fat in there you getting too fat, Ben. Ben, you and me, we're going to have problems. We're going to have yeah. problems. That's why I've been, I've been fishing out all of my old yarns yeah. because, first of all, and when enough time goes by, you wonder why you bought any of it. I know. It's terrible. I loved you because you were on sale. And now I you're loved just it. taking up space. Now you're just ugly. And taken up space. And old. And you have to be mixed with something else in order to make you presentable. And old. And old. And old. You're from yeah. 2012. You're old. I mean, yeah. When oh. Moses buys your yarn, yeah. you know. <laughs> you know it's time for it to go. Exactly. So, <clears throat> I'm just glad to know that I'm not the only one. No. So, my second sock. So, then I was like, okay, I can't be monogamous because I don't, I really, I don't love you. You are just the bane of my existence. You are the bane of my existence. I don't want to say it too loud because you know what's going to happen. You don't want to suck the backfire on you. Oh, it totally is. <laughs> so then I decided to, to do something crazy. Okay. So I picked this. The vanilla, the vanilla and latte socks. Oh, I did not do those. <laughs> I did the cafe macchiatos. Oh, you know what? I was looking at those too. Those were really cute. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about doing those next. Okay. It's good to know. So I decided to do those in this colorway, which is, have you, I'm sorry, let me get out of the light. So this is, can you see that? Yeah. This is Cakewalk Yarns Cherry Blossoms. Cakewalk Yarns doesn't die up anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the Cherry Blossoms mm -hmm. colorway. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like so far. Oh, how cute. Yeah, it came out really cute so far. So I'm really happy with it. It's very, very thin, the yarn. Well, compared to the sport weight sock you're working on, of course. And also, like, the socks that rock. I think I'm just... Spoiled. I want to... I... I was going to say something not very nice. <laughs> Thank you for cleaning it up. <laughs> for the children. That are, this, don't, 
mind this. This is just because I have a ruler that only goes up to here. <laughs> this is, I think, five inches. So it's five, and then I know, okay, I have to move the ruler, and this is like another one and a half. So I think it's coming out really cute. It is cute. It'll make a nice summer weight sock in case you ever yeah. need them. To give to somebody, like my mom or my sitter. Whoever. <laughs> so you don't, you don't ever keep socks for yourself? I rarely keep stuff for me. I keep um, shawls. I was actually in church this weekend, and I was wearing a shirt similar to this, where it was like very, very short. And I was like this the whole time. I was like pulling down the sleeves as if like my sleeve was going to go any. I mean, people behind me was were probably like, "Stupid!" <laughs> bring. I mean, you're a knitter. Bring a shawl, dummy. I mean, they'd probably say that if it wasn't church, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. But yeah, it was cold, so I'm yeah. I mean, and I have a lot. I just, but I keep shawls. I keep um, ha like I do a lot of winter hats because I'm a big hat person. Like I'll wear, I'll walk around the house with a hat, like a winter wool hat, like beanie, with just, you know, just a hat walking around the house. Scarves. I'll wear scarves, cowls, but no socks. Mm. So, I like do you have anything next up? Time. As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Do it. So, for our... Did I pressure you? Did huh? I pressure you with my next steps? No. I'm not... You don't scare me. <laughs> you don't scare me. You sc I, I'm scared for you. <laughs> don't be scared for me. I'm going to make these socks for our <gasps> knit-along so I can win a prize. <laughs> I saw. Sharon, you know what? Hmm. You know what you could do? You could be the first person. Be the first person to do the thread. Be the very first person to post in the thread. That's what you could do. <laughs> you can't Jedi mind trick me. I'm going to start the sack knit along. I keep seeing these everywhere. Get this pattern everywhere. And I'm like, I want them. But I'm not you know going to make did them. That? But I want yeah. them. Diane made them didn't from nibbles. Dawn, Dawn made them from wolf farms. Them. Yes. And Sheila D made them from Knit One Heart yeah. too. Yeah. I'm jealous. They all have them. And you know, I keep plenty of socks for myself because I'm not nearly as generous as you. <laughs> yeah. You're nicer than I am. My mother sees socks on my needles and she goes, are you making those in my size? And I say, absolutely not. not. So the person who wins the sock knit along is going to get a skein of this. Yeah, not that one. That's not, like... not this skein because this one's mine. It'll be knit up. So I'll get to use it actually and you'll get to covet. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Have you picked a pair of socks for the knit along? I think I'm going to do, um, let me just go into my bag of tricks. I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to try and do this one. The Cotty. It's an Irish girly knit mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a sport weight pattern. Um, it's um, Carrie, uh, the person, Carrie Sullivan is the person behind Irish Girly Knits designs. Mm -hmm. She gifted me this pattern generously. Um, and so I think I'm going to knit this okay. pattern because she, um, she said this is one of her favorite um, sock patterns. When I told her that, you know, I'm on a sock kick, I want to try and do 14. And she's like, well, have you ever done sport weight? And I said, no, I hadn't. She's like, this one is like by far one of my favorite sport weights. So I think I'm going to try this one. Okay. Um, and I have... Um, a skein of plucky knitter in like a club colorway that I'm gonna um, knit. It's like a green that I'm. It's just, it's a semi solid, I think, like a solid, almost as like a solid green in that. So I'm gonna do it in that. And then I told you I'm gonna um, knit up the Nangu, which is this pattern. Oh, that's so pretty. That's by Melanie Berg as well. 
Um, and um, I'm gonna do it in the these two colors. Sorry, I'm still here. <laughs> so it's gonna be these two colors. Ooh, it's um, I like that. Yeah, so the main color is gonna be this one. It's the Narragansett Gray, mm -hmm. um, and it's the Plucky Knitter Primo Fingering. And this one is Before You Go-Go, mm -hmm. uh, again in the Plucky Fingering, Primo Fingering. Mm -hmm. um, again, from a bin that was overflowing, and so this will be three skeins that'll come out of that bin. So that's gonna go. And then I have another pair of socks that I'm thinking, it's like a self-striping. Um, Cause I haven't done self-striping in a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like that might go really quickly. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth between the Cotty, which is sport and the self-striping, so. Well, self-striping, you see the stripes yeah, magically appear. Yeah, like, let's and do it, yeah. It seems like it's going a lot faster, but yep. it's the same thing. Yep. So that's kind of it. That's, that's all kind I got. of it. You have no commitment issues, girlfriend. No, I don't. I'm a married woman. <laughs> I got no commitment issues. I'm married to my yarn and I have commitment issues. <laughs> too funny. Too funny. So we've um we've we've covered a lot today. We did, we did. And we got we past did. the technical issues. Yes, so I'm so grateful that you're here. Unfortunately, Tracy is going to leave me alone and go on vacation with her family, and I wasn't invited. <laughs> so, and I don't know where they're going, but I wanted to go, too. <laughs> we purposely didn't tell you, Sharon, because I have a feeling you'd show up at my house. Yeah, show up at your like, house or chase your mommy. car. <laughs> Something. Like, okay, I'm here. I have all my knitting. I don't ready to go. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes. Can you wait while I load my stuff in the car? And by the way, can we stop by my house so I can pick up some more stuff? <laughs> because I can't go anywhere without forgetting something. Here's a seat between your children. Wait for me. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Keep your, your silly vacations a secret. Just bring back pictures. <laughs> so enjoy your trip. You're only yeah. going to be gone for like a week or so. So it won't interrupt the uh, podcast schedule. Nope. Tracy no, and I'll have soon. so much progress because I'm going to be, like, relaxing, right? Yeah, well, I don't know about relaxing. Yeah. Vacations are a lot more work. <laughs> they are. They yeah, are. you're in charge of entertainment, so. Yeah. Okay, so so I want to thank everybody for joining us and yeah. for leaving comments in the Ravelry Forum and yep. for viewing us on YouTube and subscribing to our channel. Yep. So to the returning viewers... Can't believe you're back, but I'm so glad you are. Yay! Yay! And to the new viewers, this was a longer than usual um, podcast, but we're so happy you stuck around. And if you're still here, don't forget to sign up in our forum so you can get some of these prizes. We got goodies. We do, we do. We do. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. <laughs> Join our middle along. Okay, guys. Okay. Great couple weeks. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.